What is up people, Fire here from AwesomeDudes.com and before you start with this video, just quickly, I wanted to tell you that you can go on my website here, AwesomeDudes.com and then you can go under download free assets and there you can download free assets. Now these are commercial free assets, they are not assets for this tutorial. The assets for this tutorial, this dark cave, you can find, link is in the description below so you can get them from that link. But these are other commercial free assets that you can use to develop your own games and you have 3D assets, 2D assets, backgrounds and whatnot and I keep adding new and new stuff. So you should definitely check this out and yeah, enjoy the video. As you can see, I am in the gameplay scene. Before we continue with our game controllers, because the next controller that we need to create is the gameplay controller. So don't be confused, we have the game controller, game manager, which controls our whole game, but we also have the gameplay controller, who, who controls the gameplay. So before we create the gameplay controller, I am gonna create the UI HUD. So I'm gonna go here under UI and I'm gonna create an image, but before that for our canvas, I am gonna set it to screen space camera and attach the main camera also so that we can have this one right here. And for the sorting layer, we are gonna set it at UI so that we can see the images you can see here. I'm gonna name this one diamond and I am gonna position it right here. And for it, I am gonna choose diamond number one, I think, yeah, diamond number one can do. So let me just go here. We don't want it to be 100 by 100. Let's see. No, it can be, let's say, 80 by 80. Not 8 by 80, but 80 by 80, okay? And also, we are going to set the anchor. If I click here, I'm going to set the anchor at the top left corner because this is where we are going to position our diamond. So he can be here. Maybe just a little bit stretch it like this. Let me see. No, it's okay. I think now everything is cool. And we also need a text. So UI, we need a text, which is gonna be our score text. So score text. And I am gonna position it here. Let me just go somewhere around here and let me just resize it. Just resizing it a little bit, aligning the text at the middle changing the color to white because, well, we need to see it. And actually, I'm going to put the alignment. I'm going to put the alignment here. Yeah, here for the text and resize the font. Let's say, for example, times 10, something like this, just so that we display. Yeah, this is OK. And I am going to select the font to be our Mr. Sunshine. But now that we have Mr. Sunshine, we do need to put it down a little bit somewhere around here. Maybe resize the font a little bit. Let me just like this and put it down. So I think this is okay. Maybe just resize the font and we're good to go. Yeah, I think this is awesome. And I am gonna just copy these two and I'm gonna reposition this one. And this is not gonna be our diamond, but this is gonna be our life. And the other one is gonna be our life text. So for the life, I am gonna filter here for the idle animation, which is the player's idle animation. This is gonna be our life or the representation of our life. <laughs> yeah, it can be a TV show, the representation of our lives. And I'm going to position this one down and I think that we are good to go. Yeah, I think that we are good to go. This is going to be awesome. So now I'm going to go under game object and create empty and I'm going to position this at zero zero and this is going to be our gameplay controller. So gameplay controller and for our gameplay controller, we are going to also create a script. So I'm going to go here under scripts controllers, right click, and I'm gonna create a new C-sharp script called the gameplay controller. So controller, gameplay controller, put it on the gameplay controller, and now we are gonna code. So here I'm gonna say class and give a little bit of space just so that we can see what we are actually typing. And now we need a couple of variables. First, we are gonna make this an instance. So public, 
static gameplay controller and it's gonna be an instance so instance like this and instead of the update I'm gonna create here private void make instance now this is not gonna be a singleton it's just gonna be an instance and the difference is or the difference I'm saying the different the, di the difference what am I saying I just started to you know talk shenanigans so if instance is equal to null meaning that we did not set the instance to anything instance so instance is gonna be equal to this and this is everything that it is to it instead of same way as we did here because we don't want to destroy the gameplay controller nor do we want it to be don't destroy unload we don't want to carry the gameplay controller everywhere with us so i'm gonna call this here so i'm gonna say make instance but we are gonna do that in the awake function now you can do it in the start function but i prefer doing things in the awake function that have to do something well reload initializing things like this also what i want to do or what we need is we need a reference to all of these texts that we have just created so we need a reference to all of the text that we created and let me just find the text so we need a reference to this core text and the reference to the live text also so in order to do that because they are ui elements we need to type using unity engine dot ui not io ui so using unity engine ui that is gonna allow us to create here private text which is gonna be core text and a private text which is gonna be life text like this and by the way we also need a private so private int score and private int life score inside of the awake function so inside of our awake function we need to get a reference to the score text and the live text so we need to say here score text is equal to game object dot find and we are gonna get ourselves the score text so score text like this and we are gonna say dot get component and here we are gonna say text so get us the text component we are gonna do the same thing here with the live text so just copy and paste it and here i'm gonna say live text and here also we are gonna say live text. Now we also explain what this here is. We are getting the game object that has the name score text, getting its component text, and that is that. So essentially we also need to create two more functions. Of course we are gonna tweak our gameplay controller more, but we need to create two more functions, which is gonna be, one is gonna be public void increment score and this function is simply going to set the score so i'm going to say score plus plus to increment it this means that we are going to add one to the score so plus plus means add one and then simply we're going to say score text dot text is equal to and here i'm going to say x plus score which is going to increment or actually it's going to create the string x and add score to it we are also going to create a public void decrement life and here we are going to say life score is equal to minus minus or minus minus simply to decrement the life score and here we're going to say if life score so life score is greater than or equal to zero so if it's greater than or equal to zero we are going to set the life text that text to be equal to x plus life score and we need to call these two functions in the player score function and that is when we well collect a collectible item so here in the player score when we collect a collectible item before we deactivate it we are going to say gameplay controller dot instance dot increment score and this is what i said when we created and eh, my battery is gonna die so let us quickly fix that and this is what i meant when i said that when we create a static variable so notice here we created a static variable that means that we can use the name of the class and simply the name of the variable and then we can access the whole class as we just did here so gameplay controller name of the class dot instance dot increment score which is going to increment the score and for our skeleton we are simply gonna check here so let me just see here so if target.tag is equal to skeleton 
we are going to say here if is alive is true then we are going to touch the skeleton so first thing we are going to say is alive is equal to false and then we are going to call gameplay controller dot instance dot decrement life and we are good to go now i know we did a lot in this video so we created our gameplay controller we created its instance we created the text and the score text we also created well here we get the components we got their components we made an instance from our gameplay controller and also here public void increment score to increment the score and decrement the life and now we are calling those in our player score so let us actually test that out now because we are good to go if i simply run the game and i am gonna set the score and the life score to be times zero because well we're gonna start with zero so now notice what is gonna happen when i collect one of the diamonds so when I collect one of the diamonds, we are going to see one. So we just increment the score and we are now going to die. Bam, we have just died. So we have just died and we did not decrement the score because, well, we did not set it in the first place. So we are going to do that from the next video. So see you then, guys, when we are going to, well, still wrap our game up because a couple of videos more are left to wrap our game up. We did much in this video, created our gameplay controller and... Now we can control the score and whatnot. So we'll see you in the next one where we are gonna initialize our game with the lives of the player and the score and whatnot. So see you then guys.